I signed up for the challenge uh, like January 2016. Um, I basically just studied a lot and was uh, break even. Um, then I uh, I joined um, Triforce Training I think in June or July of last year. Finally was able to kind of like merge the two methods. I, I never have really made money going long. Um, but then uh, around September I, I really started just wholly focusing on uh, shorting and started to make um, you know, a little bit of money. My favorite short play is like basically like the spikers that are up for basically no reason or regurgitated news and and then I just short the fuck out of them and, and, <laughs> and wait. I started um, really focusing on uh, Triforce's methods and um, in January, really December and January and then so I've done pretty well. I got over the 100,000 yeah, mark uh, this year. In the last like 30 days, I think I was like 74, 76, 70, 76 profit, uh, thousand profits. So. Say that again, one sec. Just say that. Everyone stop talking. Yeah, so I made like $76,000 in like 30 days, which is fucking mind blowing to me. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. And what did you do differently in the past 30 days where, yeah. you know, you made your 76000 versus what was, what'd you make the previous 30 days? Uh, I mean, I did pretty good in January. Um, I, uh, uh, I think I maybe made like 20000 Okay, so, so the, these 60 days you've made like 96000 mm -hmm. What changed from the previous 60 days to this? Yeah. Is this like nearly all the money you've made in the last 60 days? Yeah, definitely. So what I've done um, basically uh, is, you know, um, I just kind of immerse myself in, in Triforce's techniques. His watch list comes out, I watch it several times, I write out a plan. I bought a big marker board, it's like six by four feet or something, and um, and I just write that shit out. And do I, you have pictures of this? Uh, yeah, I actually do have a picture. Did you post it anywhere? No, I, I took it before I left because I kind of had a feeling I might get asked that question. Yes! I can tweet it out or something. Yes, tweet it out! Um, and, uh, I've got two uh, two TVs. You know, my monitors um, are like forty yeah. inch screens, and uh, yeah, I'm, my 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 wife kind of thinks I was like losing my mind until she started seeing my profits, and then she's like, "All right, cool, do whatever you want." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then she's like, "I can quit my job and uh. stuff like that." So. Um, <laughs> One thing that I've noticed with a lot of my students is that their partners and their spouses, you know, whether it's their, their boyfriend or their girlfriend or husband or wife, they're not necessarily very supportive of their education. You know, it takes time to study so much. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work. Uh, there's usually losses in the beginning. And frankly, a lot of people give up because they're influenced by their significant other. And that is why I think it's so great that, you know, Dan's wife now understands you know, after he's made this money, exactly how useful this is. Because studying does pay off if you have the patience and if you have the perseverance to see it through. My wife, you know, she's known me for seven years, so she kind of understands uh, what I do. I have a computer right next to my bed, actually, like a whole setup. And that's all she cares about, that I'm actually in the same room with her, not necessarily like in my office in a corner. When you're dating or you're married to someone who doesn't trade, it can be stressful because, you know, you're spending most of your time doing this one thing. Sometimes you neglect the other person that's there. So, but she understands. As long as I make time for her, like that's all that matters to her. It's kind of mind boggling, so I'm kind of like, oh, fuck, when is this going to end or when am I going to screw it up? But, uh, so I've just really kind of taken, um, more and more measures to prevent that. So I, I bought this uh, whiteboard, I just write out my plan, I don't trade everything, I just, right now I'm mostly, uh, I'm doing tries algos with E-mini and T-notes, but then um, I just kind of like, I'm really focused on oil and, uh, and trading that. And so I just write my plan out on the marker board and the only losses I've really had are when I was like being stupid and not following the plan because I thought I was smarter than the plan or something. Uh, but you know, had you a can't cheat your way to success. Yeah, yeah. So, so I just do that, and um, it's been pretty awesome. So, pretty, awesome. pretty excited. And Congrats. Give another round of applause. This is my second market mastery. Uh, I've also been in the challenge for about a year and three months. Joined Triforce Trading uh, last summer. 
What I appreciated today the most was having real-time feedback from uh, three of our you know, teachers who have changed my life dramatically. Sometimes it's difficult to formulate a, a question that can get you know, the sort of uh, information that we need from you guys. So to have you guys all here and uh, in, in person and um, has really just tremendously helpful. You all have like different things that you emphasize and so to have that combination is just uh, tremendous. You know, the other thing that, that's been really good about these for me is uh, being able to uh, hang out with other traders, figure out, you know, the different little tricks of the trade that have worked for folks and, and, uh, and also kind of, you know, articulating the ideas that I've learned sort of helps me understand them uh, as well, but just sort of that dialogue with everybody has, has been extremely helpful as well. Today I made like 340 bucks shorting um, MYSZ and I did like 20. Nice house. Yeah, th uh, I got like uh, 2,300 shares at 270. I made the, you know, like 15 cents a share shorting that. I had like an overnight long on oil that kind of screwed me a, a few hundred bucks and, and then uh, made some back shorting oil today. He shorted oil like after a news event came out and uh, it dropped like three, three points, which is the equivalent of like three grand per contract. So uh, he, made, he made about $3,000 total on it. It makes me feel really good. I mean, I love to see other people succeed at something that they really actually try hard at. I think for me it's a joy to watch, but also for them it's kind of like affirmation that they, they can do it by themselves. I think that's like the greatest.